Wylock here. Welcome back. You know, I make no pretense that I'm a hack. I reiterate others' ideas and tweak them mildly. This episode, though, really has nothing new in it. This is how I prefer to do scrolls in books. Taken from a couple different sources and I'll cite them as I go along. We'll start off by making some scrolls. These methods are pretty much like for like from the DMG's method. I use a light, thin cardstock. Measure out and cut half inch wide strips. Roll up the strip. I use a toothpick here to help get the roll started. All we're doing here is inducing a natural curve to the cardstock. Unroll it. Now roll it back up again until it reaches a thickness that looks good to you. I try to intentionally not make it a perfectly tight roll, since those exposed edge gaps on the sides serve as great additional micro detail. Anyway, place a small dab of glue and then cut off the excess paper. Now let's make an open scroll. Use the same technique as before, but leave about two inches of excess paper. Roll that end up and glue that end in place as well. As for painting, begin with a light brown color. I'm using cocoa bean. Do not water it down, but apply a light base coat to the scroll. You'll notice that with only one thin coat, the paint looks very streaky and uneven. This is not only okay, but it is desired. Once perfectly dry, get some kind of off-white color. I'm using parchment. Again, apply a light coat. It should look streaky. Set aside to dry. Obtain some plain crafting twine. This is available pretty much everywhere. You can get it at the grocery store, Michaels, etc. Cut off several inches and then separate just a few strands from the twine. Leave these strands woven together and tie a plain knot, but do not cinch the knot just yet. Place the uncompleted knot around your single rolled up scroll. Now pull the ends to cinch the knot closed. Aim to have the knot itself just on top of the exposed edge of the scroll. Do not tie a double knot. Instead, use your small gauge glue gun and place a small dab of hot glue on the knot. This is the wax seal. Once it cools, cut the excess twine to your liking. To accentuate, apply any color to the wax seal. I'll use blue here. For the open scroll, take a pencil and scribe on some arcane markings or script. The following method for making books came from Mad Mouse on the DM's Craft forum. I'll place a link to the thread on the screen. Obtain some double corrugated cardboard. Cut a three quarter inch wide strip, however long you want. When you cut, the cut should be running parallel to the corrugation. Press the strip to collapse and compress the corrugation. Fold this strip in half lengthwise. Apply a bead of white glue in the fold and secure the whole thing closed. I'm using paper clips here. A heavy paperweight would also work. Allow it to dry completely. 
Now, chop pieces off to make books. You could measure it out, but this is easy enough to eyeball. Now you may or may not see this happen. The inner pages stick out too far. I just trim them down with scissors. Paint the pages first. Again, I'm using that parchment color here. Jam the paint into the inner folds. You don't need to cover the outermost leaves, which are the front and back covers of the book, but it doesn't matter if you get anything on them either. To paint the covers, I use a dark and light version of any given color. Apply full solid coverage with the dark version, and then lightly dry brush once or twice with the light color. Here I start with true blue, and then dry brush with one or two hits of a sky blue. Now let's embellish a few of them. Use a small dab of hot glue and needle nose pliers, and I'll attach a small bead. and some Swarovski crystals. Here's a bunch of completed books and scrolls that are hot glued to a table, so this is one piece of scenery here left a little dot of color on the open scrolls, sort of the remnants of the wax seal. And mix up the colors, gives it a nice eclectic look. That orange book there is actually done up classic DMG style, not uh, Mad Mouse style. I like to cut the twine very short, as you can see. And here's a wizard's desk. These are some older books and scrolls. Obviously I didn't even bother to paint the scrolls. And the books are from way back when I first discovered DMG's channel. Those are his style. And the potions are just like we did for the potion vendor way back in video 7. And hey, it's a video light on content here, so just for kicks here's one other thing. Just an adventurer's preparation table, something you might see in a war tent or something like that. Anyway, I am Wylock, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.